Hi everyone, Steve here. Today I'm just going to have a look at um, trying to find out why a oscillating fan is um, the blades are not uh, spinning properly. It's quite tight. So the aim is to just to um, pull the covers off it and have a look through to see if I can easily get through and um, uh, find what's causing it and fix it up. If not, I'll pull it apart and um, just have a good look around and buy a new one. So anyway, fingers crossed, we can do it. So this is the fan here. I've taken all the bits and pieces off it, flat, the cover and the blades and so forth. And it's really hard to spin around. It's only the other day that um, the wife was just having a, a clean with it. And I wonder if some dirt or muck or something got in there and has made it really difficult to spin. So um, what I'll probably end up doing is removing those four screws there. I think there might be a screw in behind there. Maybe, maybe not. And um, I'll attempt to pull the cover off the motor and get to get access to the bearings. So that's the front cover pulled off. Just those four screws there. Pops out. The rear, that doesn't seem to want to come out easily. The screw in the top, I'll remove that. But I think there's... A screen behind here. I'll pull it out. Right, so I'll pull that little plug out of the back of the casing, which was in there, and there was a screw in there. Take the, took the screw out, and I pulled the uh, the oscillating switch uh, uh, cover off as well, which is this item here. So it's quite interesting to see how these things work. The motor spins and you've got some type of gearbox that then spins and then you've got a fixed point at the back and then this spins around. That spins on that and um, so it oscillates around and that switches that on, on or off. Pretty cool. So, I put a bit of WD-40 in there. This here, I couldn't, hasn't seemed to improve anything really. So next is to try to pull these, the cover off the motor. There's some screws. Looks like there's about four screws. I'll pull them off and see if the cover comes off okay. Let's find out. Okay, we're back to have a, let's see if we can finish off <coughs> fixing the stuck fan. I had a bit of a break for a, for a day or two. I was busy at work. Um, so we ended up, the shaft is still quite stuck. Um, and so I want to be able to pull it off, give it a clean, put some lubrication in there. Um, and then see what happens from there. So I need a pull this unit off um, and I think I'll start here. And I'm guessing we've got some issue at the back side here with the um, whether it's a bearing or a um, just the bushing is tight there. So I will uh, give it a 
tend to clean that up. They're both at the back of the front. Um, and lubricate that and hopefully that should be that. So I plugged it in, turned it on, it's oscillating, spinning nicely. Okay, now the assembly of all the extra bits and the covers and the fan bit blade itself. On there, it's got a thread on this. Can't remember if it's a reverse thread or normal thread. I'm sure that the holes are located correctly. fan blade has a slot that slots into the pin there so make sure you get that in correctly and there's a reverse thread on this on the fan cool that's spinning nicely Um, just a final check, to test to see if it's all working, it seems to be going fine. So there you have it, we've um, originally started with a fan that wasn't, wasn't working, the, the, um, but it was, I was hopeful that it wasn't going to be a difficult fix. Um, I was going to go and buy a new one, but what we did is we managed to uh, pull it apart, uh, clean bit, the bits of the shaft where uh, where it connects into the bushings, put a little bit of lubrication in there, put it back together, um, and it looks good. Hopefully, it'll go for a little bit longer. Um, so, I saved a little bit of money. It's good for the environment. I've learned something along the way. I enjoy doing some stuff like this. I hope you enjoyed the video. Um, and and um, yeah, thanks for watching. Bye.